Hello everybody, this is Neha. Today I want to discuss about production and production systems. So actually what is meant by production? It is nothing but to transform some inputs like men, material, resources, capital information and energy into a specified set of output elements like finished goods and services finished goods and services in proper quantity and quality. The transformation of input materials into pre-specified output products is achieved through a production process. Basic objective of any industrial unit or plant is to provide goods or services and to earn profit. Nowadays, production is in everyday life and can be noticed in factories, hospitals and offices etc. Production can be defined as producing goods or services which satisfy human needs or wants and this is called as production. Next, this is some of the typical production systems. These are some of the examples, department store, trucking firm, factory, automobile, body shop, etc. So these are some of the inputs which those companies or as those trucking devices want. And these are transformed into outputs like desktops, delivering of goods, repaired automobiles, etc. Next, production is divided into two categories. Continuous production systems and intermittent con production systems. In continuous production system, the machines are arranged basis on on the basis of products. And whereas in intermittent production systems, machines are arranged randomly in the factory. So this is one of the example of intermittent production system. For example, here one A, B, C, D and are some of the machines. Here product one is going to produce. This is the first stage of product one. The flow from A to D and then B next output stages output stages from D and this is the second example of intermittent production systems the major drawback of intermittent production systems is the major drawback of intermittent production systems is labor here in intermittent production systems loading and unloading so workers availability is very more when compared to continuous production systems. This is some of the example of continuous production systems. Here from first machine the product will be launched, will be loaded here and the after completing all the mesh all the operations in all the machines, the output stage finished goods will come in the last stage. Here only one operator is enough to guide the machines. This is some of the example of continuous production systems. For product, these are arranged on basis of product. The major drawback of continuous production system is if any machine breakdowns then the whole process will not continue. So this is the major drawback of continuous production systems. Thank you.